turn your mother down. Psychologist and author M. Underscore Scott Peck observes, to a child, his or her parents represent the world. He assumes that the way his parents do things is the way things are done. In Dr. Underscore Martin Seligman's studies of optimism and pessimism, he found out the same thing. We learn how to explain the world to ourselves from our parents, and more specifically, our mothers. This tells us that young children listen to what their primary caretaker, usually the mother, says about causes, writes Seligman, and they tend to make this style their own. If the child has an optimistic mother, this is great, but it can be a disaster for the child if the child has a pessimistic mother. Fortunately, Seligman's studies show that the disaster need only be temporary, that optimism can be learned. At any age. But it is not self-motivating to blame mom if you find yourself to be a pessimist. What works better is self-creation. To produce a voice in your head that's so confident and strong that your mother's voice gets edited out, and your own voice becomes the only one you hear. And as much as you want to eliminate the continuing influence of a pessimistic adult from your childhood, remember that blaming someone else never motivates you because it strengthens the belief that your life is being shaped by people outside yourself. Love your mom she learned her pessimism from her mother and change yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.